Hello chess lovers, Zorin here and I have another interesting game for you played by American chess player Paul Morphy. Did you know that Paul Morphy lost only one blindfold game in his life? In this video we will cover that game. This game was played during an 8 board blindfold simultaneous exhibition which Morphy gave at Queen's College in 1858 in Birmingham. In this game his opponent is James Keeping and Morphy started the game with e4, e5 by Keeping, knight f3, knight c6 and d4 Morphy goes for scotch game. He takes d4, bishop c4 bishop c5 and white castles kingside. The accuracy with which Morphy opens his games when playing blindfold is truly remarkable. d6 and c3. Morphy's gambiting is offering another pawn for a quick development and a rapid attack. In 2017, in a game played by Maxim Vacher Legrav against Vladimir Kramnik, instead of playing c3, MVL went for b4, which is another very aggressive move, but in our main game we see c3. Queen f6, bishop g5, queen g6, c takes d4 and black captured on d4 with the knight, lured away white knight and then captured on g5. Mr. Keeping demonstrated a tiny tactical knowledge, f4 was played, queen g6, king h1, Morphe is unpinning the knight on d4, knight h6 and h3 which is actually a mistake. Morphe's blindfold games are usually free from errors, but here he makes a slip and keeping very promptly and accurately takes advantage of it. After h3 keeping went for bishop takes h3, g takes h3 and queen takes e4, now black will win back the lost piece and also black managed to win two pawns, queen f3, queen takes d4, Rook e1 check, Morphe is using the fact that black king is still stuck in the center of the board and will try to organize an attack. Right now the bishop on c4 is hanging, knight a3 was played, bishop takes a3, keeping is removing the defender and now wants to want a piece. But here Morphe found a tricky line, he played bishop b5 check and only after c6 he captured on a3. And now it turns out that winning the bishop on b5 square can be very dangerous. That's why black responded with rook e8. But let's have a look. What if c takes b5? Then white can go for queen takes b7 check. If king d8 then rook c1. And already white is threatening checkmate in one. And the game is simply over. If queen e5 then white can capture the queen. And then e6. This is simply over. In a few more moves, black king will get checkmated. That's why after b takes a3, black responded with rook e8. Now comes rook c1, d5, queen b3, king c7. Black managed to consolidate his position successfully. And this is actually going to be winning. With so many extra pawns, white's position is actually hopeless. Also, let's not forget that Morphe was playing blindfolded bishop d3, though it looks like that Morphe can see the position clearly. Rook e3, and now the rook intrudes inside white's camp, queen takes e3. Right now the rook is hanging, also this pawns. Rook b1 was played, now comes queen takes h3, check king g1, b6, black is protecting the pawn on b7. Rook e1, here comes another check, and then keeping is grabbing one more pawn. Queen g5 check, and then knight g4, rook e2, knight e3 check, and finally Morphe resigned. If king e1, then rook e8. Black has so many extra pawns that there is no chance for white to survive. That's why, understanding all this after knight e3 check, Morphe resigned. During this blindfold simul, Morphe won 6 games, lost 1 and drew 1 game. Though in this game Morphe lost, but let's admit that he didn't make terrible blunders. All in all, his game was decent and he had a clear understanding of what's going on on the board. Several times even managed to set up dangerous traps. 
but his opponent was very careful and with some tricky moves started to pick up Morphe's pawns like those were mushrooms and finally Morphe lost the game. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you. For more games, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.